Hey, Bill. Hey, man. He's talking about Zoom. This is like the Zoom meeting, or she is. Hey, man. I'm sick of Zoom. I don't want to jump on a Zoom call if I can make a phone call and people are really starting and people are really starting to lean into it because they're sick of their boring desk jobs and need face to face to liven up their afternoon. I recently, yeah, I don't get that. Like, it's becoming that thing though. If they can't see you, it's like you're not on the phone. It's like I am on the phone. All right. I'm just going to sit here with my eyes closed as I listen to you. Um, I bet all corporations, are, they're all going to start every, like it's all going to be video conference because we want to be able to read your face. We want to see what your face is doing. Scan your face, scan your retina, all of that shit. And just see if we can see any inconsistencies in the level of loyalty that we, that we demand here as we deliver soul-sucking information and instructions to your side of the room. Anyway, I recently told someone I don't have Zoom and opted to get on the phone. The reaction over email was loud and clear. They passively, aggressively made it seem as if we couldn't accomplish what we needed without it. Fuck the Zoom. Also, why am, why is it assumed that I have it? Hey, bitch, come over my house and install it or get the fuck out of my email. All right. Um... That was a lot of uh, a lot of anger in there, but I understand what you're saying. Yeah, the Zoom calls and all that. I got a couple people that are in the uh, the corporate world in my life, and it just seemed like I just don't understand. Like, I don't feel like corporations value their employees as much as they're just like we're just gonna just burn them out, burn them out, burn them out, burn them out. We don't care about the turnover or anything. We're treating you like shit and we're getting every ounce of fucking work out of you that we can. And when you, when you leave, we don't give a fuck because we'll just get someone else to replace you because we've destroyed all the mom and pop places. Um, I don't know. That's just my, my opinion. And I feel like the Zoom call is another way for them to like gain information about where you live, how you're living, you know, your commitment to the thing. The whole fucking thing is just creepy. Um, all right, trial. Um, dear Bill, but on the other side, I love a Zoom call as opposed to like if I was in the corporate world and you had to go to Hong Kong, it's like, why can't we just jump on a Zoom? We're still face to face. What is the fucking problem? You know, pollute the environment less. Like I'm, I, I think that that's a good use of it, I would think. But, you know, if you guys are just, you know, living close by and this guy just says, hey, man, I just want to be on the phone. I don't look at you. Why can't you just say that? Listen, I don't like doing Zoom. If I'm going to be on the phone, I want to be on the phone. I don't want you to sit there looking at me. But I think what they, maybe that's what they like about it. Maybe they like the fact that you can't act like you're paying attention when you're not. Because you can fucking mute Zoom, and you can mute a phone call. But when you mute a phone call, they don't, they don't know what the fuck you're doing. I mean, you literally could be doing anything. <laughs> you could be asleep. And they wouldn't know. And I don't think that they... I think that they like the control of Zoom. And I got to be honest with you, it would be nicer if it would be... The world would be a better place if more people kind of rebelled against shit like this. Um at least push back a little bit. Anyway, 